Hey everyone, so this is my brother. He decided to visit. Hello. This is uh uh what's brown what? I'm the I'm 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 uh Brown Savior? <laughs> the, I'm the Brown Hope sequel. <laughs> I'm the sequel. The 2.0. Can you guys see is it resemblance? We are brothers in fact. <laughs> Alright. Bye Odo. Bye. Bye Charlene. Bye. Love you. Have Love a you safe too. Trip. Be safe. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. Yeah, no problem. Was the, like later Ian's night? gonna take me at 2 a.m. Oh. and then the flight leaves at 11.50 a.m. Nice. All right, everyone. So it is January 6th, 2024. Wow, okay, that was the first time I said it. It's 2024, it's cold out here. I'm in the middle of the desert. I was born out here in the valley. I've lived in a few other places but pretty much just been here my whole life and i went to london one time i've been to guatemala and mexico but this time i'm gonna be traveling pretty much solo bangkok thailand is where it's at is where i'm gonna be for the next month um after that i don't know if i'm gonna come back or if i'm gonna travel some more maybe i don't know cambodia vietnam uh japan there's a lot of just things happening in my head and you know what tomorrow I leave Ian's gonna take me the great white from the great white and brown hope podcast that we do he's gonna take me to LAX tomorrow at night 2 a.m. so we're gonna get to LA in like 4 a.m. something like that man I'm ready. I'm ready I don't know what to expect I've never been out there by myself I've never been uh, traveling solo really anywhere. Um, I did do a road trip in my car. I don't have the footage up, but I did do a road trip by myself. And you know what? That was an experience like no other. So I can't even imagine going across the world to Thailand and seeing what it has to offer because there are Buddhist temples, there are night markets, there are floating markets. There's a lot of Muay Thai going on, right? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do all of it and it's gonna be here. I am so excited, so excited. I just had coffee, so I'm even more excited. I'm like double excited right now, but seriously, it's gonna be a long, long flight. It's 22 and a half hours and two and a half hours of that is a layover in Seoul, South Korea, which it was either between South Korea and China. And you know what? I was like, I want to see Seoul even, even from inside the airport. I'm totally cool with just seeing the inside because I, just being stepping inside of South Korea. Hey, man, that sounds lit to me. And the, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use the drone because Bangkok does have uh, some laws around that where you can use it and when um, a lot of technical stuff that you guys don't care about but I will be live streaming as well so there's just a bunch of content a lot of stuff that I'm gonna be doing and showing you guys because that's what it's all about I want all of you to experience me losing weight and losing weight with me me trying out this food me trying out so many new things and for the first time that's what's special about this. It's the first time me going, me experiencing these things, and I'm excited here, so I can't imagine how I'm gonna feel stepping into the Thailand airport, the Sukhumvit airport, and my Airbnbs are already uh, registered or reserved, whatever, right? And uh, I'm gonna be walking everywhere, probably, just to see what everything is like. Uh, I know I'm gonna be sweating here. It's in the middle of the desert, and this is cold for me. It's like 50 degrees or something like that. Out there, it's gonna be back to the desert temperatures. 95 degrees. 95 degrees is okay. It's pretty hot, right? But I'm used to it because of the desert. But the humidity is where it causes all the sweat and all the problems where I'm gonna have to shower like twice a day, maybe three times a day, and change my clothes. Thankfully, washers and dryers, really cheap, really easy to use out there. Um, I'm just rambling because look at this. Look at what I, I'm used to. Look at what I'm used to seeing. Just desert, desert, nothing but desert. This is what I'm used to. I'm excited. I gotta get packed. 
So let's go get packed right now with me. We got to transfer over, guys. To uh, I don't I don't even know. I don't know, man. Two okay, F to Terminal Two. Okay. picture I had my hair buzzed I took my glasses off it's just like okay yeah I guess that's you that was funny <laughs> he was she was like oh yeah I guess it is you all right I swear that's Mr. Duncan on that TV show I don't want to put a camera in his face but I'm almost positive that's him. That's crazy. I have to go down. I have to hurry.
Wait, I can't go that way. Oh man. He told me to hurry, so. Uh, they changed, they changed one of the flights, I guess. through the garden. Wow, that little garden was two seconds, but hey. It's Billy Eyelash. The guy made it seem urgent, so I'm like hurrying up, but I don't, I don't think, he didn't tell me to run. If it was that urgent, he would have told me to run, right? That's my thought process. All right, so I actually do have to run. Oh, damn it. He wasn't kidding. I just saw the time right now. That flight took their damn time. So now I gotta run over. God damn it. Good thing I've been training for this. Hello. Okay, sir, after this fight. Uh, oh, it's after this yeah. one? Yeah. Oh, no, okay. Weird. All right. Huh. Yeah, okay. And, um, for my luggage for you LAX have to check here. your main agent. Oh man. Yeah. Your departure time will there. Before one hour, you'll be standby. So the dude was a little um, inaccurate, let's just say, with the information. So I didn't have to run, but I'm glad I did at least to, to know. <laughs> the same seat but it's just a different plane. It seems like it's a little smaller. Possibly. Hopefully not. That'd be sad. That'd be hella sad bro. Oh you know what? It's like the same. It's the same like leg room. I mean, it wasn't good on the other one, but whatever. It's the same leg room and less than half. It's, it's gonna be six hours, and the other one was 14 hours. So 
six hours, way better. Oh, I, I should have stretched though, I forgot to stretch. Damn it. Let's do some yoga right now. And then go get luggage, go get my luggage. Uh, man. And then after luggage is uh, exchange some cash, that's what I need. Exchange it to Taipot and uh, get a phone plan just to get high speeds because I'm gonna be streaming too. And yeah, let's see what's after that. But I, I'm, I'm just gonna be here a while, just getting some stuff done and I might uh, get some food here too if, if anything's open, I don't know. I don't know if they are. Blood. 
We in, we in, boys. We out here. We out here, boy. We out here, guys. We're gonna get our luggage. Look at, look at this, bro. This is, this is beautiful. This airport's nice, man. I don't know. It's nice. Oh, hey. That's funny. They just hit him with a Bluetooth speaker. got the Roomba bro they got the Roomba out that's crazy they even put a smiley face on it that's cool <laughs> little Roomba man hey man take my job all right we get we have to we have to do it Next up, I got my luggage. Next up, we gotta go change some currency, bro. But I also saw, I'm pretty sure it was that chef, that Japanese chef that does like crazy, like, uh, I forgot what it's called, but he was on Jake and Bake TV. I think it's in uh, Kyoto or Osaka that he has a really uh, famous uh, restaurant out there. But I wasn't able to talk to him. I was gonna. State shit right now. That would have been hilarious. Good thing I recorded. So walking in, hello mirror, I look like, I look scary, I look like crap. Um, so this is the room, oh, oh, this is the bathroom, where are the lights, are there no lights? Oh, there we go. So, very nice shower. Oh, they even have shampoo and body wash in there for me. I'm not, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna use it because I brought body wash and stuff. But I'm just trying to be quiet because these walls are kind of thin. But so awesome closet space, iron, nice, perfect mirror, little basket there, little hamper, little TV. I thought the TV was bigger, but that's okay. I'm not really gonna be here watching much TV. The decor is pretty nice. Oh, they have two ACs. We have one right there and one right here. Perfect. And let me show you guys the living room. So, little dining room table here. There are some stains on here, but whatever. I like the decor. It's pretty chill. And then here we are. Nice sofa there. There's the Wi-Fi. There's a router. And this is what I really liked a nice table where I'm going to be playing Fortnite or whatever I want or editing videos right here. They put, today I choose joy. No, today I choose revenge. JK. And look at this bed. It's nothing really fancy, but that's nice. They got towels here for me. Thank you. I'm definitely going to, 
I was gonna buy some towels, but you know what? If they have them here, that's great. It's a nice bed. We'll check out that view tomorrow. And kitchen. Look at this kitchen, guys. Is there a microwave? I think there was a microwave for the, oh yeah, here. Perfect. Bro, I'm hungry though. And there's plates, all right, cool. I am hungry and I, I'm not gonna go to 7-Eleven right now. It's like 3.40 a.m. There's a fridge and like some cutlery. What is this? Oh, it's outside. It's a washer and dryer. Dude, it's so humid here. I didn't, I did not think like this was what the humidity was like when people said, it's really humid. You don't know until you know, until you feel it yourself. So that's the little tour, I guess. I'm gonna close that. Let me close that just so I can turn these ACs on. And please keep silent after 10 p.m. I'm being quiet. I am. On. On. Yeah. Why is this not turning up? Oh. There we go. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I think that's the that's the end of this first episode. I know that I look greasy. I look scary right now, but um, yeah, I really appreciate all of you guys watching, and I will be making a video every day every day some of them short some of them long and live streaming so check it out guys all right i need a bed i need to sleep <laughs> i need a bed i do need a bed and i have one huh. i'm just gonna unpack everything tomorrow and i'm gonna charge my gopro and stuff because i'm exhausted all right peace and if no one has said it today go out there big chilling bro let's go let's make our dreams come true